Shauna. I uh, work in public relations here at the library, and this is one of my dogs. This is Fifi. Uh, we have another pug. She's a pug. We have another pug named Frank, and uh, she's two years old, and Frank is four and a half. Fifi's kind of crazy, and Frank is the opposite, <laughs> um, which kind of leads me into one of our favorite books that sums up their relationship really well. Um, it's Say Hello to Zorro. And in the book, this first dog, Mr. Bud, <laughs> Mr. Bud uh, has a schedule and he really likes naps and his cuddle time and keeping things calm. And then all of a sudden, he gets a friend named Zorro. And Zorro was not expected and not invited and they have to spend some time getting to know each other and they don't really like it at first but eventually they realize that it's more fun to cuddle together and to go on walks together and that's kind of how things went for Frank and Fifi when we got Fifi. Um, though I think she still gets on Frank's nerves a lot of the time. <laughs> um, another book, this one I like, it's called uh, Clara, the story of the pug who ruled my life. And I think it's very accurate. Um, when we first got Frank, we just thought he was gonna be a dog. And we went to the vet and they said, no, you have no idea what you're in for. Pug owners are ridiculous. And they, he was so right. Um, so this book sums that up. This woman gets a pug and she goes on her first book tour and she brings the pug with her. And it's all about the pug and not about her new book. Um, and eventually they, it gets into how everything becomes about the pug and every decision, life decision she makes is about the pug. And then eventually it gets into more human things like they adopt a child, which is fun, but it's less pug related. <laughs> but it's a really enjoyable book and a very accurate depiction of life with a pug. So, and after we finish reading, we like to go for walks, which we might go do right now. <laughs> Hi. Be the dog is right in line with my try to be here now thing. So as you can see, the O is like a collar on the dog's neck. Secrets of the natural dog owner. And of course, I am a natural dog owner. So there are seven secrets. Choose your friend wisely. Understand and apply leadership. Embrace a canine attitude and awareness. Turbocharge your dog's IQ. Play, play, play. Enrich your dog's environment. Toys, toys, toys. Keep your dog healthy and safe. Run, run, run. Collar a woo on the leash when you walk. Endow your dog with purpose. Love, 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 and happiness. So the most important thing to know is you should get the dog that you need and the dog that you're able to take care of. I, for one, know that I can't carry anybody that weighs more than 50 pounds. Happily, Dylan weighs 43 pounds. This means I don't need to pump any extra iron. Good for me, good for him. As a librarian, I know that I also go straight to the index after I read the table of contents to make sure it has things in it that I'm interested in. If it looks like it's fudgy, I think, eh, I'll just skim through. If it looks like it's good, I read the whole thing. The last part of this book says your dog as a role model. And I can tell you that I have learned everything I need to know and the most important things I know from every dog I've ever had in my space. Thank you. Hi, my name is Karen and this is my dog Nula. She's an Irish wolfhound and she is eight and a half years old. And I'm here to talk about a really fun book that you will find in our collection. It's called This Book Just Ate My Dog by Richard Byrne, and it's really fun. Um, this book is um, so much fun to read to kids because it's really interactive. And it, start with, it starts with the character Bella, and she's w taking her dog for a stroll across the page when all of a sudden, oop, something very odd happened. He, she disappears right into the gutter of the book. Um, and then her friend, Ben comes and says, let's investigate. And he decides to investigate, and he falls into the gutter of the book. And he's disappeared as well. And it keeps on going until the dog rescue 
disappears and vanishes into the gutter and the fire brigade and the police. And she decides, Bella decides, I'm going to sort this thing out myself. But all of a sudden, burp. Something appears. It's a letter and it reads, Dear reader, it would be lovely if you could help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. So that's what, exactly what we do. We shake and shake and shake and shake and shake. And then a little wiggle more and everybody reappears. <laughs> And things got back to normal, well, almost. And as you can see, the dog and his feet <laughs> are completely different. And this is a wonderful book. It's fun. Um, it's an interactive picture book that um, makes reading come alive. And I bet your, your kids will want it to be read over and over again. So. Hi, my name is Kara Logson, and I'm the Community and Access Services Coordinator here at Iowa City Public Library. And this is my dog, Marley, and she is a dachshund. So today we thought we would talk about a couple books. One of Marley's favorite books is called Pretzel. And Pretzel is by um, Margaret Ray and H.A. Ray. They're the people who created the wonderful Curious George books. And there is a dog in this book named Greta. And Marley really likes Greta. And so the book is about Pretzel who tries to impress Greta and event and at first she doesn't want to have anything to do with it which is just like Miss Marley and eventually Pretzel wins her over. So this is a wonderful book by Margaret Ray called Pretzel and then I thought I would show another book that we like and it's called Stitch Love and there is a pattern in Stitch Love for a little dachshund wrist holder. So we made a little dachshund wrist holder to match Marley, our wrist. It's like a, a mouse wrist, um, wrist rest. So this we made to look like Marley and we're hoping to make one for the library's craft bazaar. So if you need a wrist rest look, that looks like a dachshund, look for one of those at the craft bazaar.